the front line of the climate crisis. The fastest warming place on planet Earth is right here, the Arctic. Sea ice in the Arctic is supposed to reflect sunlight, but as it melts, all the heat is absorbed into the ocean, accelerating global warming. Also, thawing Arctic permafrost releases methane into the atmosphere, a greenhouse gas even more potent than carbon dioxide. Not long after, the Arctic may well be filled with blue seawater instead of white ice. The impacts of the changes happening in the North Pole are already felt in our day-to-day -day lives here in Korea. Korea has become the 12th country in the world to establish a research station in the Arctic to study the changes of the region and contribute to the protection of the Arctic environment. Korea has deployed remote sensing satellites and an ice-breaking research vessel with excellent capabilities to study the Arctic's climate, environment, and ecosystem in cooperation with the international community. The changes in the Arctic are also opening up new opportunities. It suggests a possibility of commercializing a new shipping route between Asia and Europe, the Northern Sea Route. At the same time, the development of resources, including oil and gas in the Arctic, is of increasing interest to many countries. The key to tapping into the economic potential of the Arctic while protecting the environment and the people of the region, including the indigenous peoples, lies in sustainable development. The Arctic Council is an intergovernmental forum through which the eight Arctic states promote international cooperation on a range of Arctic-related issues. The Republic of Korea respects the crucial role the Arctic Council has played in developing the Arctic into a peaceful and stable region. As an observer state of the Arctic Council, Korea is actively participating in several of its projects, including the Arctic Migratory Birds Initiative of the Conservation of Arctic Flora and Fauna Working Group and the Sustainable Development Working Group's project aimed at constructing an international Arctic station based on fully autonomous hydrogen energy. Leveraging its vast experience in the shipbuilding sector, Korea Four has built the world's first ever ice-breaking LNG carrier that can break ice and haul liquefied natural gas at the same time. In 2021, Korea announced its plan to build a next-generation research vessel powered by eco-friendly energy sources with enhanced ice-breaking capabilities. Furthermore, the Act on the Promotion of Polar Activities was enacted this year setting a systematic framework to better support polar activities in both the North and South Poles. Korea hosts the Arctic Partnership Week every year, providing a platform to discuss the future of the Arctic. Korea is also actively participating in diverse Arctic-related dialogues, including the Arctic Circle, the largest international Arctic forum. It was the first East Asian country to host the Arctic Circle's regional forum, which demonstrates the country's commitment to Arctic cooperation. The melting Arctic, prompted by the climate crisis, demands cooperation across borders. Korea is striving to play its part in addressing the global climate crisis. Such effort is exemplified by its hosting of the P4G Seoul Summit in 2021 and the recent pledge to go carbon neutral by 2050. Korea will continue its efforts to mitigate climate change, preserve biodiversity, and promote green growth with the international community, all of which will ultimately contribute to the protection of the Arctic climate and environment. Moreover, Korea will host the first conference of the parties to the agreement to prevent unregulated high seas fisheries in the Central Arctic Ocean in the year 2022. Uh, Korea, as a responsible member of the international community, will fully engage in activities that contribute to the Arctic environment and humanity. So thank you. Korea will not cease to work with the international community to respond to the shared mission of humanity protecting the Arctic environment and promoting sustainable development in the region.